Welcome to another video. This is um, an update sort of thing on uh, the lion theme I shown you a few weeks ago now, and um, it's come perfectly in time with um, the release of Mountain Lion. And uh, I just want to go through everything and show you everything today. Um, this is for PowerPC and Intel on a machine running uh, Mac OS X Leopard. So. I just show you. I'm recording this, by the way, guys. After I, the video is recorded, I'm recording it on like a twenty pound uh, MP3 player, so I apologise for that. But um, you can see there, Mac OS 10.5.8 Leopard, and um, it's running on a dual 1.8 G5 with a gig of RAM. So the very all the links for everything will be in the description, guys. Um, but the first thing you'll want to do is just simply install the theme itself. Continue. All credit uh, goes to Aquadoc from Mac Rumors. Um, he's the one who keeps this thing up to date, and he does a fantastic job on it. To be fair. And there is an un uninstaller as well you can download, so if you get fed up of it or whatever, you can just um, go back to the default Leopard uh, user interface. This will just install everything totally automatically. It takes 10-20 seconds tops. And then uh, all you have to do is log out, and um, you're welcomed by the new uh, Mountain Lion dock. As you can see down there, with um, they've got rid of the reflections and they've gone for a more um, minimalistic sort of look. With um, the indicators are basically like engraved into the dock now. It looks it looks really nice. It doesn't look as busy as the leopard or snow leopards or lion as well, um, it doesn't look as busy as the docks here with all the glass and the reflections and stuff like that. You can see as well in there all of the gradients and the new buttons and stuff that have been there since lion. Um, but now I'm going to show you how to change in the About This Mac box, how to, um, this is a little extra thing that I've made uh, myself. Um, to change it to 10.8 instead of 10.5.8 in the About This Mac box. So you go into System Library uh, Core Services and then go down to System Version dot plist. So you want to open that up and um, there you are. Uh, I zoom in here. There's uh, two strings, is product user visible version and product version. You need to change product user visible version. If you change product version, it'll mess up uh, any install you'll want to do in the future. And um, it'll basically fool the installer into thinking, this is if you change the product version, it'll fool the installer into thinking, run, running Mountain Lion when you're actually, you're actually not. So just literally change that to 10.8 stick a dot plist on the end save it to wherever desktop I put because um, it's not going to be there for very long save use plist and it's on your desktop so then you'll just literally just want to drag it over replace it and it's as simple as that. So then when you go into the About This Mac box, you've now got 10.8. You may have realized in Mountain Lion, they've got rid of the Mac in the About This Mac box in the little image they've got, just OS 10. So um, I'm gonna show you how to change that. Again, this is a little extra thing I've added there. Um, that's, that's the uh, image there. It's just chopped the Mac off. I don't really like that. It just. I'm not a fan of Mountain Lion at all, guys, to be honest. It just seems a. 
they're just integrating iOS and Mac OS X all into one, and I'm not a fan of that. But um, you'll want to go back into System Library Core Services, and then go to Login Window, right-click Show Package Contents, uh, then click into Contents, then into Resources, and um, it'll be in there. I'll have a written description as well in the description um, on how to how to change the uh, system version and the image in the about this Mac box. So again, you'll just want to. Oh yeah, this is where I messed up. Um, I almost forgot to back up. Remember to back up, guys. Remember to back up. Otherwise, you could find yourself in a frantic panic. Just replace that now. Now we've got that nice and safe and sound in our home folder. Um, you'll want to log out then. And uh, go back into the About This Mac box and um, there you go. OS X instead of the Mac OS X. All, uh, once again guys, everything will be um, in the description. All the links for everything you'll need to download. It'll all be there. And this is again a few extra things I decided to do myself to add on to the theme. App Store. Um, it's actually Bodega or Bodega, or I'm not too sure how you pronounce it. Um, but it's just a huge, huge variety of applications. Um, some are free, some are paid. And um, it also like updates uh, the apps you've got already installed it like picks up on updates available and installs them so it's quite a nice application and um, it just again adds to that sort of authentic feel um, almost a trick uh, someone who's looking to think you've got a power PC Mac running Mountain Lion also um, with this the newer version it, it likes to automatically install on Bodega um, an update, you'll just have to go into the preferences and say don't automatically update because the newer version is not um, supported on PowerPC. Launchpad, it's not actually Launchpad, it's just a shortcut to spaces but it just looks nice and it works well. And then another thing, Mission Control, I just scroll straight past it back up I go that's just um, it's not again it's not mission control it's just a shortcut to expose works again really nicely uh, does the job so then the last uh, thing you'll want to do is go into Google Images or wherever mountain lion wallpaper stretch to fill screen and uh, there you go that looks a lot like mountain lion in my opinion so so awesome you got your 10.8 OS 10 you got your sidebar icons which are now the, the monochrome sort of blue color you've got your new buttons you've got your gradients it all looks absolutely fantastic you got your app store your launch pad your mission control everything's all there, the new dock and of course the wallpaper so um, thank you for watching this video guys and uh, I'll see you next time, bye bye